first land for Sterling State Park was acquired in 1935 as a gift from Monroe Piers Land Company and was named in honor of William C. Sterling, prominent Monroe citizen and first Commodore of the Monroe Yacht Club, organized in 1887. Monroe County's waterfront in Lake Erie has been famous since pioneer days for its great flights of waterfall, spring and fall. The French shot at the wing game, trapped muskrat, and speared sturgeon for a livelihood. In later years, the marshes have attracted sportsmen from far and wide. Water sports flourished at an early date. In 1878, a Monroe four-man rowing crew swept American competition and went to Henley, England for an international rowing regatta. Muskrat dinners, featured by the Old Yacht Club in 1900s, became a community tr tradition and are continued by present day groups. <laughs> Hi everyone. We are at Sterling State Park in Monroe, Michigan. It is Michigan's only state park that is on Lake Erie. Different state, same lake. And what you're looking at right there in the distance, that's the nuclear power plant that powers pretty much most of Detroit. Wow. And you can kind of see that little blue speck and smoke in the distance. That's Davis Bessie. That's the power plant that powers most of Northwest Ohio. In the background here at Sterling State Park is the coal plant that powers most of the Monroe, Michigan area. So you can see three power plants from this state park. One. Two away in the distance. This is Michigan's only state park on Lake Erie. Michigan, of course, touches four different Great Lakes, so four out of five lakes. The only one they don't touch is Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. Five Great Lakes. Lake Erie, there we go. Lake Erie is the fourth largest Great Lake. It is the shallowest and warmest. It has a surface area of 9,906 miles squared. It's 210 feet deep. It has a shoreline length of 871 miles. That includes the islands. The Great Lakes contain the largest supply of fresh water on Earth, 20% of the Earth's total fresh water. 9,402 miles of shoreline and 94,710 total square miles of surface. Lake Erie is the shallowest of the Great Lakes, reaching a maximum depth of 210 feet in the eastern basin. The lake, the lake topography coupled with changing water levels can have extreme effects on the shorelines. Because the lake is shallow, the effects of storm-driven waves are amplified. The axis of the lake runs from southwest to northeast, corresponding to the direction of prevailing winds. Strong winds can push water toward one end of Lake Erie and may create a difference in elevation of over 15 feet. When the wind stops, the water will rebound, causing the water to move back and forth across the lake. Strong winds are Nor'easters can also be a problem driving storm waves opposite their normal path. When you're swimming in a Great Lake, you have to avoid dangerous areas. People do die and drown in the Great Lakes every single year. We're not sure. We adopted her. She was full grown. They think she was one or two years. Yeah, that's... we. Gino's 15. Oh, wow. Yeah, we adopted him when he was like, uh, I don't know, six months old or so. I mean, I can't think of a better spot for a playground than right there with that lake backdrop. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, we know. No pets on the beach. We get it. Jeez. They couldn't even make one small tiny section of the beach for dogs. How rude, huh? Say, how rude. 